Hi everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I am so excited to be back. We have some really great videos ready for you about, for instance, our FMD Ectis system and our Furunu radar systems. In the first video, I would like to talk to you about something I can hear on you that is a, a little bit annoyance and that is the synchronization of chart updates between your two FMD Ectis. So let's go have a look at the Ectis and how we do this. So synchronization on your FMD Ectis. Well, it takes place here in charts. And in charts, we have the menu called system. If you click that one, you can see there is two menus here that pertains to synchronization. The sync configuration and the sync status. When you do synchronization on the FMD Actis, you synchronize your weekly chart updates, your license keys, when you upload a new license key, it will be synchronized with the other Ectis, and your manual updates, when you do a manual update, it will also synchronize with the other Ectis, and then the public key, also when you load a new public key. There is a thing, though, with the synchronization. If you use the charts from the company CMAP, then the synchronization will only be done when you update the CMAP database. Just remember that, okay? And when you want to synchronize the two axes, they, of course, have to be powered on. So. Let's have a look at these synchronization menus. Let's start with the synchronization configuration first. So you can see here on this menu you have uh, two boxes here, not synchronized with this unit and group with this unit. The actuses you want to synchronize with or chart radars for that matter have to be in this box, of course. If uh, they are over here in the other box, then you have to move them here. And the way you do it is, I'll just show you, just for one, see, you have maybe one over here, and then you tick mark it and move it over, okay? And then, of course, press save. When you have pressed save, I'll just show you, let's try to press save. Do you want to save the synchronization configuration? Yes, of course. Here, then it will ask, synchronization is saved, new configuration is applied after the systems have rebooted. Okay, I will not do it this time, so. But remember that when you have saved up a new synchronization, it has to reboot first, okay? so. This is the setup of the synchronization. So when you in the beginning have set up uh, this synchronization configuration, just leave it alone, okay? Then we have the another button here, synchronization status, okay? Here you can see the status of the synchronization. It will say here if it is receiving data or sending data, so forth. There will also be a small bar in the top of your Ectis when the synchronization is ongoing, okay? For some reason that the, your synchronization is not working, then you can manually start your synchronization over here on the enable synchronization. You can also disable if that's, uh, if you need to do that, but 
uh, normally just leave it alone. And if there has been some uh, matter that it's, it doesn't work at all, then you can urge synchronization and then it will stop all other operation on your Atlas. Okay? So, this is how you synchronize your FMD Atlas. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like our videos and subscribe to our channel so you can stay updated on our latest YouTube videos. Have a great day and see you in the next video.